Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of June. Um, I was able to see one every single day. I did get to go to the theater a couple of times. Um, so I thought I'd take time today to tell you what I saw, what I thought about it, if I can remember, if I, re if I would recommend it or not. So first up, if you'd like to follow along, I do have my Letterboxd account linked down below if you'd like to follow along with me. Um, but first up, I watched Maximum Overdrive. It had been a long time since I had seen this one. The new still book had came out, so I wanted to check it out. Really enjoyed it. I don't. I, I love the music. I loved the story. Um, I don't remember liking it as much as I did when I originally saw it when it first released, but it was still good to revisit. Um, I watched a bunch of Jodie Foster films this month, so I watched Five Corners. I had never seen this one before. I purchased, I purchased it only because it was a Jodie Foster film and I was trying to beef up my Jodie Foster collection. Enjoyed this one. Had, like I said, I'd never heard of it before. I would recommend you at least check it out once. Um, I watched an A24 Tyler, um, title called Zola. I had never seen this one before. Um, and I think I saw someone's live stream or video and I was trying to check out more of the A24 titles that I hadn't seen. And so I checked this one out. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, so yeah. The next one I watched was The Happening. Um, I had never seen this one before. I wanted to check it out finally. It wasn't t as terrible as most people make it out to be. I kind of enjoyed it. Um, so I don't know. I guess most people hate it. But it was okay to me. <clears throat> when I say it's okay, I gave it one and a half stars. But it wasn't terrible. Okay, next up I watched The Awakening. I had never seen this one before. Really loved this film. It is a ghost story. Done very well. Didn't know anything about it. And I bought it. And I would highly recommend you check it out. Okay, next up I watched Child's Play 2. Been a long time since I had seen this one. Really enjoyed this one. It's probably one of the best. Um, one and then two. For me, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, next up I watched Sorcerer. I had never seen this one before. I did purchase this Digibook and I wanted to check it out. Um, it, it was kind of confusing at first, but overall I think it's a really good film. Um, if you've never seen The Sorcerer, check it out. It is definitely not what you think it would be based off of the title. Okay, next up I watched The Ruins. I had never seen this one before. I saw someone do a live stream and they mentioned Ruins, which is a different movie, but I watched this one instead. It wasn't that good. I do not recommend it. Well, actually, you know what? It was okay. It wasn't the best movie, but I did like it. Okay, next up is another Jodie Foster film, The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. Never seen this one before. Really, really um, creepy type film with um, Martin Sheen in it. Check it out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up I watched Spotlight. Don't remember why I watched this one, but I did. Oh, I know why. It's because it has Michael Keaton in it, and there's a Michael Keaton live stream that I was researching. Really enjoyed Spotlight, based off of true events. Then I watched um, Renfield. I had never seen Renfield before. Of course, I didn't get to see it in the theater, so I finally watched it, really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. Check it out. Okay, next up I watched um, Pleasantville. Um, this right here was another one that was recommended that I check out. I hadn't seen it. I finally purchased it and enjoyed this film. Very, very well done. I enjoyed that one. Okay, next up another Jodie Foster film, Little Man Tate. It was an okay film. It wasn't the best. It wasn't terrible, um, but very interesting and enjoyable. Okay, next up I watched Maverick. Been a long time since I've seen this one. Of course, it has Jodie Foster in it also with Mel Gibson and James Garner. Um, I haven't seen this one since it was first released and in the theater. I really enjoyed it in the theater. A very, very good film. Okay, next film I watched was in the theater. It was The Flash. Um, I liked The Flash. I thought it was I thought it was good for what it was. Um, I enjoyed the storyline, the cameos, and I'm very much looking forward to getting that one when it gets released. Okay, next up I watched The Accused. 
been a long time since I've seen this one. It's another Jodie Foster film. Very great, a great performance by Jodie Foster. Um, very interesting story. Um, and check it out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up I watched A Dog's Purpose. I had never seen this one before. Um, it wasn't the best. It wasn't terrible. I do enjoy animals. But I thought it was going to be better than what it was. Okay, next up I watched Only the Brave. Another recommendation that I had never seen. Love this film. Very well done. Highly recommend you check this one out. It's a good one to have in the collection. And then the next thing I watched was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Getting ready for the sequel to come out. So I watched this one. Of course I enjoyed it just as much as I did in the theater. Then I watched Priceless. Um, this right here is another one inspired by True, um, True Events. It was okay. It wasn't. It was tough. Sub it was a tough subject matter. I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to like it, but it was definitely worth seeing. And then I watched. I still believe this right here is one that I enjoyed um, because I know who the story is about, and um, I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad of that. I'm glad that I finally took time to watch it. Okay, the next thing I watched was Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I saw that one in the theater. Um, a little bit too long. The first part of it was slow, but it got better as it progressed. Um, and um, it was enjoyable. I'm glad I saw it. In, I'm glad I saw it in the theater. Okay, the next film I watched was Skinnamarink. I've heard mixed reviews about this one. Finally, it came on Blu-ray and on a still book, so I purchased it. I watched it. Very boring. I did not like it. I do not recommend it, but I'm glad I saw it at least once. Okay, the next film I watched was Evil Dead Rise. Really enjoyed this one. I, I was very surprised about how well this was done, about the performances that were given. That was a very tough performance by everyone. Um, I enjoyed the, the gore. Everything about it was great. I, I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, the next one I watched was Moonrise Kingdom. I was getting ready for a uh, live stream for this one. And um, I watched this. I had never seen it before. Really enjoyed it. Thought it was very well done. Probably one of my favorites um, from Wes Anderson. It was a Wes Anderson live stream that I did not get to join because we had some power issues. Power went out for several hours. Um, next up, I watched Cheap Thrills. This right here was one that I came across um, and purchased it. It was okay. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it was enjoyable. Lots of um, Cheap Thrills, I guess you would say, for money. Different things happen for money, and check it out if you've never seen it. Okay, the next one I watched was Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. Loved the soundtrack. Never actually saw the film, but I finally I did a live stream where we were talking about some of the best soundtracks. This came up and I purchased it. Great soundtrack. An entertaining story. Okay, the next film I watched was The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Um, another recommendation. I had already seen this one, of course, in the past. It had been many years since I've seen it. I did purchase this just to watch it again. Great film. Great thriller. If you've never seen this, definitely check it out. Okay, the next film I watched was Don't Breathe. Um, I actually hadn't seen this one since it was first released in the theater. Really enjoyed it, so I re-watched it. I was um, challenged by Movies with Sue to watch this on Bob's live stream. So I watched it. Definitely a great film. Um, it's not really a horror story. It's more of a thriller and it is very intense. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Highly recommend you check this out if you've never seen it. So don't breathe. And then lastly, the last movie I watched in the month of June was Indiana Jones and um, the new Indiana Jones movie, The Dial of Destiny. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. That's what it's called. So me and my wife went and saw that. My brother happened to be there at the theater, so we all sat together and watched it. I thought it was very well done. Um, I did go on Letterboxd afterwards to, to list that I've seen it. I always go on and read the reviews after I see films. 
it's a mixed bag of people that didn't like it and the people that did. I'm on the side that did. I thought it was very well done. A little bit too long, but not bad. Great performance. Um, lots of um, action and adventure, which I really enjoyed. So highly recommend you check out Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. If you can see it in the theater, that would be great. So those are all the films that I watched throughout the month of June. I'm happy that I was able to see all of these. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I saw. And let me know some of the films that you were able to see during the month of June. And also give me some recommendations of films that you would like me to check out during the month of July. Because I really do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.